everybody. Uh, so today we got a little bit of whiteboard action for you guys. So as you can see up here, I'm going to be explaining what Nate and I call the recovery wheel. Um, we basically try to talk about balance and recovery. You know, there's five different areas of recovery. Uh, so those areas are physical, spiritual, mental, social, and emotional. So we need to, in recovery, we need to find a way that we're actively and constantly working on all of these areas, but we have to balance it. So the reason that we do this wheel is, and I'm just gonna try to explain it to you real quick. So in the physical section, um, you know, working on your physical health. So you've got, you know, going to the gym, getting exercise, um, dieting. It can be, you know, doing yoga, hiking, riding a bike, whatever type of exercise you like. It doesn't have to be going to the gym and. Uh, lifting weights, you know, that's something that Nate and I like to do, but so that's what we got for physical, uh, for your spiritual health. We've got things like going to church, um, prayer, AA and NA meetings or any 12 step meetings, um, doing meditations, uh, readings, doing devotionals, things like that. Um, for your mental health, we've got going to therapy, uh, seeing a psychiatrist, making sure your medications are balanced. If you have any mental illnesses like anxiety, depression, PTSD, um, anything like that and also we put um, decompression and relaxation in there because that's something that we all definitely need for your social health we've got spending time with friends and family um, you might get enrolled in school or go back to school um, that's going to include work also getting a new job finding a job going back to your old job whatever the situation is and then volunteering spending time in the community giving back to the community those are very important things also and then lastly we've got your emotional health um, so emotional social and mental a lot of those things kind of go in together um, but specifically for your emotional health we've got you know working on your behavior you know your your mental health and your emotional health one of the main differences with your emotional health that's going to be a lot of your behavioral issues that you have that you may need to address such as anger um, you also might have some pause post-acute withdrawal syndrome um, learning how to cope with things like that. <clears throat> and then we've also got, you know, we threw your just emotional intelligence on there. So that's just learning. And again, that can go in with going back to school. So anyways, when we look at this wheel, like I said before, you wanna make sure that you've got balance in all of these areas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend like the middle right here, you know, say that's gonna be a zero and up here is gonna be a 10. And then you're gonna rate how much time, effort, and energy you put in to each one of these areas. So just to give you an example, um, we'll start with physical. So for someone's physical health, say that they're, you know, they're in early recovery, they're spending a lot of time at the gym, like, you know, going every day, maybe a couple times a day, they're riding their bike, they're doing all these things, spending time doing meal preps, um, just spending a whole lot of time and energy on their physical health. So we'll say that that's probably at about like an eight or nine. Um, their spiritual health, Say maybe they've been slacking on that a little bit. They haven't been going to as many meetings as they should. They're not meeting with their sponsor. They're not really meditating. They might say a prayer here and there, but you know, not nearly as much as they could be doing. So we'll rate that pretty low, like a three. Um, their mental health, say maybe they're seeing a therapist every once in a while. They've got some medication that they're supposed to be taking, but maybe they're kind of slacking on it a little bit. They don't take it every day. Um, and they're not really relaxing as much as they could, say maybe because they're spending so much time at the gym. So again, we'll break that pretty low, maybe a four. Their social health, say they're, they did get a new job. Um, they haven't gone back to school or anything, but they're spending a lot of time with their friends and family. So that's gonna take up a pretty good amount of time. So we'll say that's at maybe a seven or an eight also. And then their emotional health, you know, again, since that's kind of paired with their mental health, maybe they're not working on a lot of these coping skills like they should be. They're not working on their emotional intelligence. Again, if they're not seeing a therapist, those are things that can be addressed with them also. So we'll put that at, you know, four or five also. <clears throat> so you can see where all these dot, all these lines are. So if we put a dot at each one or, you know, we could use the line, but I like the dots. So you put these dots on here. And then, like I said, this is called the recovery wheel, right? So if we connect these dots with the goal of having this be a wheel, as you can see, or maybe you can't see depending on the camera, this is not a wheel, right? So if you try to roll that, it's not gonna roll. You know, it's gonna roll this way one time, it's gonna fall over and it's gonna stop. So the point of this exercise is, 
You know, you can't spend, you, everything can't be a 10. We don't have that much time in a day or in a week or in a month for everything to be a 10, right? So you may have to take some time away from the gym. You might have to be exercising a little bit less. So maybe you can focus on your spiritual health a little more. Maybe you start going to the gym once a day or once every other day or, you know, whatever it is. So, you know, bring that down to uh, six or so. That gives you more time to, you know, hit a couple extra meetings. Maybe go to church on Sunday. Maybe start reading some things, start meditating every once in a while. So we'll bring that up to, you know, a five or so. Mental health also, you know, you take some time away from your, the gym. We'll look down here at social, maybe you stop spending so much time with your friends and family. Maybe you tell your boss like, hey, you know, you can be honest with them. Sometimes you can be honest with them like, hey, I'm in recovery. I've been working myself way too hard lately. I want to make sure that I'm having a decent amount of balance in my life. So you start working a little bit less. Maybe you start spending a little bit less time with your friends and family. So bring that down to five or six or so. Go to see a therapist, you know, work on, make sure you're taking your medications properly. Have a little extra accountability there. So you move that up to five or so. And then again, if your mental health is increasing, your emotional health will also. So I'll move that up to, you know, five or so. So the goal again is to have this wheel that will roll. Now, it's still not perfect. You know, none of us are gonna be perfect in this, but you wanna be working out a decent amount in each one of these areas. So as you can see now with this, that would actually roll, right? So that's the point of the recovery wheel, balance in recovery, working on the five areas, physical, mental, emotional, social, and spiritual. You find a decent amount of balance in those areas, you got a pretty good shot. So thank you guys for watching.